Okay, we're going to do some instant on testing with a custom Golden Eagle unit and the red line radar detector. Um, the custom has a K band antenna hooked up to it, and the red line is in highway mode. X band is off, K and KA band are on, and pop mode is off. We're going to see how the red line responds to IO shots. It's still going to be a relatively strong signal, but uh, the antenna is pointed away from the radar detector. The detector is perpendicular to the radar beam. Okay, as you can see, the response time isn't instantaneous, but it's generally half second or less, I would estimate, on the red line there. Now, let's do something funky here. Let's put the red line right in line with the radar antenna. And we're going to turn the radar antenna around and face it right into the antenna of the red line just to show you what happens when you overdrive the signal. Uh, what's going to happen here? KA band. Okay. We're getting a KA 35.807 alert. And that's due to the signal being so strong that the harmonics. Um, uh, and the you know the, uh, the the strength of the signal is just tends to overdrive the red line a bit and confuse it. So let's hit it again see what happens. Band. Uh, again, <laughs> we get a KA alert as opposed to a K band alert. And in that case, we had a delay of several seconds. So when you're overdriving uh, the input on the radar detector by introducing a signal that's so strong, you can get some erratic and unpredictable results. Uh, now, just for fun, let's show you. We'll put the radar antenna back facing away from the red line. And just to show you what's possible as far as response times, we're going to. Go into bands. And we're going to turn off KA band. So this is sort of similar to uh, band segmentation. Um, we're eliminating the whole scan on KA band now. So the only thing that the red line really is checking is the K band frequency range. And we'll show you what effect that has on the red line and reaction time. So as you can see we have 
greatly varying results depending on uh, how we have the red line um, set up in programming mode and also with the orientation of the radar antenna itself and the strength of the signal. Um, in, in normal operating mode most people would have K and KA band running at the same time uh, with a relatively strong signal but not overdriving the detector uh, we get an average response of half a second or less. If we introduce a super strong signal uh, then we get unpredictable results, could get the wrong band detected as well as huge delays in detection and if we go into programming mode and uh, turn off that KA band which is a super wide frequency range for detector to sweep uh, we get almost instantaneous detection of K band um, and that's why I figure that if uh, Escort introduces band segmentation on the M3 product and possibly USA mode on the M4s uh, you're cutting out 75 percent of that KA band that's being swept it's really not necessary and uh, there's a potential for a great improvement on reaction time on these detectors.